Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Come on in, my babies. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. The planes are flying loud and high, guys. The kids aren't here, so it is quiet. That's a good thing. I sing, I curse. If any of that is a problem, now would be the best time for you to go ahead and click off. If not, go ahead and grab your stuff, whatever it is you like to do. Kick your feet up and get comfortable. Because we're about to make it do what it do, loves, okay? This is a Divine Connection channel. So we're going to tap into this Divine Connection energy. One more. Divine Connections. Let's see what we're talking about for this particular read. When it comes to our Divine Connections. What is the overall energy for our Divine Connections at this time? Let's see. Huh. We got Sugar Baby here. There could be an age difference. Between you and your person. I'm going to pull one more. Divine connections, overall energy. We're going to talk about this sugar baby. It says, be mindful of your thoughts, no negativity. So you, you may meet somebody that's younger than you. You may be dealing with somebody that's younger than you. Or you may be somebody that's older than you. You may be the sugar baby. And there's somebody older here, guys. Okay? Um... Spirit says, be mindful of your thoughts. No negativity when you meet this person. You could have been dealing with somebody either younger or older. We're going to just say younger because the sugar baby is here. So, um, you could have been dealing with somebody younger here. Spirit says, don't think negative thoughts about this person. Or be mindful of your thoughts. No negativity at this time. This person could have ghosted or snuck away. Or you could have ghosted or snuck away from this person. This person could be letting go of their negativity and letting go of their need to be right at this time. Because I cut on that. Let go of your need to be right. Those just snuck away. And we're going to take shit that's hitting the fan. Okay, y'all. That's how they popped out in the, the cut. That's how I saw it. So we're going to take it like this, okay? So there is someone that you could be dealing with. There could be an age difference here. But we're talking about the sugar baby, the younger person, okay? Um, even if it's only one year, six months, whatever, it's the younger person in the connection here, okay? Um, they could have had a lot of negativity. They're trying to be mindful of their thoughts here. They're trying to let go and release the need to be right. You could have ghosted or snuck away or left them here. They could have ghosted or snuck away from you. But since you have been gone or they have been gone, um, shit is hitting the fan. Let's jump into this and find out what's going on. Um, let's use this deck. Divine connections. Divine connections. Divine connections. It could be some type of, it says storm warning at the bottom, upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, drama. I was going to also say your person could be dealing with somebody younger as well. If there's a third party or a karmic. Clarify this sugar baby. So we have intuition, gut feeling, psychic premonition, sixth sense. I do feel like um, the younger person is now listening to their intuition. Yeah, they want to come in and court you now. Date you meet up with you here okay they are trying to mind their thoughts clarify be mindful of your thoughts no negativity for divine connections clarify be mindful of your thoughts let's see they could be obsessing here it says toxic attachments drugs alcohol obsession it says toxic relationship, fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, triggers. So this person possibly may feel like that you want to argue or there may be some type of fighting here, a misunderstanding. 
They're trying not to be toxic. You could have you could have walked away from this connection because you felt like it was toxic. This person could yeah because they, they 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 felt like they had to be right all the time. They were not listening to their intuition in the past. So if I let go of the need to be right, yeah. See, now they want the relationship, a commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend here. Clarify shit is hitting the fan. Yeah, see, unexpected. Something happened. Surprise. Unpredictable. Shocking. Unusual. Something caught this person off guard. They found something in somebody's phone here. Some type of information. They could have found out somebody they were dealing with had some type of addiction here. It was some type of toxic attachment. They were codependent. Yeah, everything is working out in divine timing here. I feel like in the past, it was the wrong timing or there was a stalemate here. We got perfect timing can be coming in or waiting. Give me one more for shit is hitting the fan. <clears throat> I got a unexpected wedding, marriage forever, the one union. So this person could be letting go of their toxic behaviors. Releasing any um, addictions they may be having because they're releasing the negativity here, right? I feel like you walked away and they realized how toxic they were. Okay, they want to get past whatever misunderstandings you guys have. They don't want to fight. They're, they're healing whatever toxic attachments, obsessions, drugs, alcohol, addictions they may have. Because they want this relationship with this commitment, this partnership. And this is unexpected. This is going to catch you by surprise here, Collective. Because this person wants marriage. They want forever. They see you as the one. They're finally listening to their intuition. Here's why ghost is snuck away. Yeah, see, this person sees you as home. Comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. They could be leaving a home to come towards you here. Leaving a connection to come towards you. Yeah, they could have been living with this ex-lover. They're walking away from a home and an ex-lover to come towards you. So in the past, they could have ghosted you. They could have been married to this person. But I, I'm not sure for some people. Um, they're, they're walking away. They walked away from you to go towards this ex-lover, this home, this safety where they felt comfort at, right? Only to find out that it was toxic. There was a lot of fighting, codependent, misunderstandings, toxic addictions, attachments, obsessions, drugs, and alcohol, right? And they decided they didn't want to do this, okay? So they decided to heal themselves here. Now they're healing and they want to come towards you. They're letting go of the need to be right. See, they were trying to run your connection and whatever connection they had going on here in the background, this third party. Right? Now they just want, want to be over here with you here. You may not see this coming. Because this is a surprise. This is unpredictable. This is going to shock you. This is unusual. This is out of your person's character that they're coming in and wanting this marriage, this forever commitment, this union with you. They see you as a friend, as well as a companion here. They trust you. They see support with you. They see loyalty here with you. They have a lot of regret about the mistakes, the guilt, making the wrong choice. They made the wrong choice when they ghosted you. They disappeared, silenced, ignored you, rejected you. And now they want to come in and apologize. And they ghosted you for an ex-lover. They're going to reach out and text you. Communication, news, phone calls, direct messages coming in here. Because now they're heartbroken. They're hurt. They got betrayed. There was some type of grief, disappointment here. When it comes to this ex-lover. They're also going to text you because they know that they hurt you. Caused you heartbreak by ghosting you. By going back towards this ex-lover. Yeah, this person was a player. Charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested. The karmic could have been a player as well. And they got played. Spirit says that's the truth. Confession, clarity, reveal secrets. Yeah, now they're healing. Because they want to come towards you and heal the connection with you. 
They're healing their addictions. They're healing their toxicity. Because they realize that they were just as toxic as the person they were dealing with, whoever this ex-lover is. They were, huh, they got karma. As toxic as they were to you is as toxic as this ex-lover was to them. And now they're healing. They want to come in and improve the connection with you guys. They want to mend it. They're hoping that you guys can have progress. Now they want to come in and date you. Now they're listening to their intuition. They want the relationship. This is unexpected. They want marriage here. They see you as a friend. They have a lot of regret. Yeah, they went through a spiritual awakening here. Enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, rebirth. Yeah, they made some changes, regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, cycles. Closed out some cycles here. Yeah, you are a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. Twin flame. There's a soul contract, a soul connection, past lives here for sure. Mm. Okay. Oh, my nose is itching. Oh, look, bottom of the deck, four wands here. They want the marriage. They want commitment. They want stability. They want to stay with you. They want you guys to, to build here. Clarify sugar babies. Knight of Pentacles. They're on their way towards you to present you with this offer. This token here. And when, I feel like where they were moving slow. Because in most um, decks, the Knight of Pentacles, they're not on the horse. They're walking. They're moving slow. This this horse got a little gallop going. And this uh, Knight of Pentacles has hopped on the back of the horse and is carrying the money on their way to you, carrying this offer. So I feel like they, they're picking up the pace here. They may not be running super fast, but they are picking up the pace because they do want reconciliation here. Okay, they could have also been put in some type of third-party situation, just like they put you in a third-party situation. Clarify, be mindful of your thoughts, no negativity. Yeah, see, this, you blocked this person because they were toxic. You didn't want the negativity around you. This person could also be now blocking their toxic person as well, whoever this ex-lover is. Clarify, let go. Uh-oh. Clarify, let go of the need to be right. Clarify, let go of the need to be right. Yeah, see, this person was lying to themselves. Okay. And they caused a lot of betrayal here. A lot of heartbreak. Something that was, was being hidden is also coming to, to, to light here. I feel like this person could have been lying to themselves. With this moon. Because they, they felt the need to be right. But they were lying to themselves. They were covering up how they truly felt. And this is what caused you this betrayal. This heartbreak for them to stab you in the back. Clarify shit is hitting the fan. Well, not on the floor. Okay, so yeah, this person sees that you're guarded. Seven of Wands here. I do feel like they're trying to stand in their power here. They want to come towards you here and manifest a new beginning because you make them happy. Clarified ghost is snuck away. Yeah, they're no longer holding on to this ex-lover. No longer holding back from you, from this connection. Yeah. They're gaining their confidence. King of Wands, Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They could have been this Playboy Playgirl. They're afraid that you don't want their offer at all. In this particular Four of Cups... There's no cup being offered, right? Normally in most um, four cups, it's usually three cups on the ground and one cup being offered. So this person is afraid that you really don't want this anymore. But they're still going to gather their strength to come towards you. Yeah, they're going to come in and speak their truth. Quick communication. King of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're coming in. They want to present you with a long-term committed offer here. Something stable, practical. Yeah, they see you as a friend. They see you as a lover. They feel like they have a connection. It's unbreakable bond with you. They could possibly feel like you have a soul connection here. With this um, temperance. They, they want to balance things out with you. They want to heal it. Equal give and take here. They've been patient. Patiently waiting for it to, co to come back towards you here. Yeah, they're coming in as this emperor energy. And they're coming in with an offer here. Some type of proposal. An offer of brand new love. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, and then the fool. They want to take this leap of faith with you. And they're hoping that you come and allow them. And, and you come right on along with them. Because <laughs> they want this commitment. They want this marriage. They want the long term. They're walking away from whoever this ex-person was. Okay? They're f finally listening to their intuition and coming in to present you with an offer. They are afraid that you are done over it. Don't want anything else. Because they took you through a lot. This Ten of Swords, this, this is a lot of betrayal. They, they broke your heart several times. For some of them, it could have been three times or more. Because it's a set of three here, a set of three here, a set of three here. Okay? They were lying, deceptive, hiding their feelings, trying to control the connection. And this is why you're guarded. But they're hoping they can manifest this happiness, this new beginning with you. They're going to come in and find the strength to, to reach out, to have this conversation with you. You may have this person blocked, or you're just not um, any communication, even if they're not blocked. But I do feel like they've blocked whoever this toxic person is, this ex-lover they were dealing with. Okay, so if this resonates, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.